Grindel Ward. We've just got here on the train and it's snowing. So this one is, I believe this place is like higher up one of the mountains and we're going on the cable cars today to do an excursion, hopefully, if we can. Um, but yeah, it's proper snowing. Mam says this is like what she imagined for Switzerland, isn't it? <laughs> Swiss dreams, snow. We're on here. This is on our way up to first the mountain. Unfortunately, our flying thing has um, closed due to the rate, uh, the snowstorm. But we're still getting the cable car up because I thought, well, we might as well go at the top when we're here. <laughs> uh, so the man's give us a ticket thing to get a refund. But it's a twenty-five minutes, guy. Guys, it's just getting higher and higher and higher. <sighs> See, I used to be absolutely petrified, even at cable carts in. London, I wouldn't be able to go on this, but I just feel absolutely fine. What do you feel? Otherwise, nobody in the cars, in front of or behind her, just us. Prefer the silly bug that's got on it. <laughs> I'm shooting ourselves 25 minutes to get up. It's quite a long cable car, isn't it? Well, considering we're flipping well high now, like. Them houses, imagine if you lived in them, you'd be shooting yourself if something went wrong. Didn't gonna gone wrong? Be, 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 look, if we if we fingered into his house, be people in his house <laughs> in a big zone, in a big car. Now they've been going years, man. So don't worry about it. Didn't Google how many accidents has been then? I wouldn't. Just gotta live life, you know. It's red smooth, don't you? Just go by the back, the pylons. Aye. Uh, well, that'll just be it, like reconnecting, won't it? But the, the, I wonder how these can stand, but not the um the the well these are. Look at that cord, it's covered in absolutely covered in snow. Imagine driving down there. These <sighs> are um, like mechanical and that, aren't they though? The, the first fly I think we're going to do. Uh, there's no brakes on the other ones. Just sends you off. No water. Just, just like have fun. <laughs> and go, I can't do that, but we wouldn't have been able to, it's been shut all day, so. I'm still glad it's we came here yeah? to come up here yeah, though. Oh, hey, it's Grindledorf. This is Switzerland, this. This is like snowy Switzerland. So where we're staying in Interlaken, it must be further. It's like at the bottom of a mountain, so the snow's not hitting it. Whereas you come up to Grindeldorf, Grindeldorf, Grindelwald. Grindeldorf. No, it's not Dorf. Oh, you keep saying Dorf. It's got a D on the end. I think Harry Potter, me. And uh, it's look at that man. Proper snow. Snow. Jesus. How deep the snow is. <laughs> <laughs> Mental. Watch you don't just go down a fucking hole. Your legs will freeze. Let me. Uh. Look at how far. <laughs> Wee! Stop! Are you? Are you? Wee! Quick! You're gonna freeze. Yeah. <laughs>
you struggle? Oh. Debbie, I can't even roll. I'm going to have to roll onto my front. Come here then. People <laughs> <laughs> laughing at you. You're a fucking idiot. The tractor's looking at you like, what the fuck? They've stopped it because of you. They think you're drowning. Hmm? I'm alright. I've been fucking freezing my hands. <laughs> oh, you didn't have your glove, you stupid twat. Okay, so we've stopped at the little restaurant at the top of Grindle Ward first. Mam's gone for cake, soup, bread, and this is what I've gone for. On um, the activity centre is closed just because of the snow. It's so thick, like you can't even see anything. It's so deep. Yeah, so deep. But we've come to the cafe um, and we've been having a look around the shops at the top of Grindle Ward first. So I've got some pasta, so I'm just having this. And then when we get to the bottom of Grindle Ward, we'll probably. Um, look around the little town and stuff because obviously we've got the train from Interlac into here so we'll have a look go for a walk and see what's around but it's like a proper snowy village this one because it's like up in the mountain like it's proper skiki on you just yeah like people have got all their snowboard and stuff and everything because they must be going in there so but you need the gloves you just need the ski equipment just to even come up and visit <laughs> it's just dramatic this pasta is good actually I just fancied the pasta when I seen it. I wasn't even that hungry, guys. I was proper picking out, but I was like, I do. I could eat a pasta. The soup's so good. Mm -hmm. I could eat pasta any time of day, me. <laughs> okay, guys, we are back in our cable car going down from um, Gwindle, Gwindle Ward first. Mum's had we're doing snow angels and then she had the great idea we've been doing that TikTok where you jump over and you're in different locations and her mum was like, oh my God, jump over and go in the snow. <laughs> so I hope it worked. That's we, where we should have been. Because I could, because I could, honestly, I've never, I mean, we're idiots, like, we should have brought sunglasses, but I was like, no, it's snowing, not thinking, it's white. But yeah, oh, it was so good still, even, even if, like, you come on a day where the activities aren't on, I would still highly recommend going to the top. It was fab, wasn't it? Oh, brilliant. So Absolutely good. Fantastic. So we're going back down to the Gwindle. We're going back down to the Grindle Ward village now um, and we'll probably stay there, have a walk around. I want to have a like good look at the little houses and stuff. So that's... Yeah, houses over there, you can see them. Wow. Yeah. That's what our plan is, but it's half an hour. Get down, the cable cars are like dead long. So we've got a half an hour journey down. Fun, fun, fun. <laughs> sunny at the top, so sunny. But no, it's not melting, just snowing. I know, it's mad. Crazy. Do you have a good time? I loved it. I know. I've loved it. It's just so white. I can't get over how sunny it is, but yet it's snowing. I know. Well, it's just, is it some though? It's just white. I know. Is it not just because everything's so white that your eyes hurt? I don't. I wouldn't have thought it was like sun. Can't even make out anything unless you see the odd tree, because everything's just so white. Mm. Well, and we'll get further down the cable because obviously at the minute we're right at the top, and we'll get further down here at the bottom though. That is quite a good view, isn't there? If it's still there. Yeah. Right. Let's... <laughs> you did something bouncy balls. <laughs> oh, look at, oh, look how steep that one gets. Oh. <laughs> She's like, you're going. Guys, this is just like a Christmassy snow magical dream. If this was, if this, honestly, if the season was Christmas and you were building yourself up for Christmas, you'd fucking convince yourself you've seen Santa. Mm hmm. Wouldn't you? I would have seen him, me. Eh? Oh, I would have had the old Rudolphs. Mm hmm. Walking in a winter wonderland, a shout button as a red felt nose, shake your skin and just one set of clothes, sitting on a shelf in a local department store, with no dreams to dream and nothing to be sorry for. I wish I was a teddy bear, not living or loving, not going nowhere. I wish I was a teddy bear, and I wish that I hadn't fallen in love with you. Uh, oh, and you ripped me out, you're funny. But you <laughs> Oh, and I need a stitch. 
Put me off, kids, guys. I can't do it. What? <laughs> had to get stitched up. I was cut from our sort of breakfast. Sorry, we're very crude. <laughs> Hey, I know why the old look here, you know. Right. I've come I've come to the conclusion. Sorry, then. I have. I've lost me ears. <clears throat> Go on then. This pile on here in front of it. Mm -hmm. When we're going over it, if you go ah, as you go over it, it vibrates. So you go ah. Oh, if I have your come about. Uh -huh. We'll try it with this one then. There you go. Right there. You can't you can't put it on, you gotta be no. true. Right. Oh. <laughs> Let's start at the very beginning. A very good place to start. When you read, you begin with A, B, C. When you sing, you begin with Do, Re, Mi. Do, Re, Mi. The Do, first Re, Mi, Mi, Fa, So. Oh, yeah. The, the first three loads just happen to be Do, Re, Mi. Do, Re, Mi. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So. So, Fa, Ti. Do, Ti. Fa, Ti. Oh, children. Oh, children, please come together. Your father's waiting for us, Ralph. <laughs> From Grindelwald, we then got the train back to Interlaken and went for our final meal in Interlaken. Honestly, it was absolutely beautiful. Don't know what it was, but it was really posh and it was so delicious. And then we got to the airport and it went downhill because Mam is a little bit laxy daisy. So he has the airport saga. Mam's left her handbag somewhere and it's got her phone and everything in it. She just had to go back through to the other part of the airport to see if she can find it because I don't know. We don't know where it is, she just looked down and it was gone. <sighs> Guys, I'm absolutely sweating. We had a right nightmare. Andrea here. Responsible ma'am. Responsible ma'am. Watch your ears. <laughs> and tell them what you're doing. I left me bag on the hook in the toilet. This little fucking handbag is the bane of my life. <laughs> She left it on the hook of the toilet, so we had gone through, so basically Zurich Airport's quite big, there's like three main, what they call check-in places. We got off the train at check-in three. Our plane was leaving at check-in two, we walked all the way along, and the only reason she realised it was gone was because we were having to put our telephones in the tray to get it through security, and she just looked down and went, where's me back? Okay. Well, I don't know. So she went, so she ran. I literally didn't have a chance to speak to her. As soon as she realised the bag was gone, she fucking legged it. You see, you've got problems with your knee. You legged it. <laughs> Sprinted. The woman led her through. The woman who was at the boat, like the, um, what do you call it, ticket control desk, was consoling me because all I could think about was the fact she was gone for 45 minutes. I was thinking she's got heart problems, she's peeled out with stress. I've got her boarding pass, I've got her passport. I've had every cleaning on me. What? I've had every cleaning on me. Bought looking for my bag. Looking for her bag, so they were looking all over. And then, and anyway, at this point, we just thought, well, it's lost, someone's nicked it going through security and I thought I'm just going to try ringing her phone one more time just to see if like anyone picks it up if they've picked the bag up someone picked it up who worked at check-in but she worked at the other terminal or the other check-in three I was like shit so we had to, I had a mum stayed with all the bags because we'd already got through security I went out of security back to the other check-in place the, the woman said that their terminal was closed so they'd left the bag under the thing and for just to lean over and grab it well there was security looking at us but at this time I didn't really have much time so I leaned over, I grabbed it and then ran back here got through security and now we're flights to load so look was on your side really <laughs> I don't know I don't see how I'm more day than the only thing we're saying is it's a good job I had had the passport anyway because if mum didn't if her passport had been in her bag and we didn't get the bag back I don't even want to know what the scenario would have been. 
Yeah. But wouldn't it be getting on the plane, that's for sure. We wouldn't have had a backup for her. Um... No. <laughs> Honestly, the thing is though, is I'm annoyed because she's so unbothered. Well, I accepted it was gone then though, hadn't I? <laughs> yeah, but I've been running around the table and everything. So There's her. Well, I was. <laughs> no, I, you weren't actually. I've been to the police, I've been to the information desk, I've been to lost property, I've been to five cleaners, had more around this airport. Yeah, it's me hyperventilating, thinking, God, she's had a heart attack. That's it. Yeah, that's it. How am I going to explain that? Yeah, that's it. 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 Yeah, that's
surreal like obviously I've just been editing the videos and watching it all back and I've just had this fuzziest feeling the full night but then I got this text saying um I just want to say I truly and utterly loved Switzerland you made my dreams come true and what was even more special is I filled that dream with you I know I never would have gone to my dream place and done the things we did if it wasn't for you my dream daughter and honestly, Derry, I'm so proud of the young lady you have become. If somewhat a bit messy, the chicky dad. <laughs> no, honestly, I am. I loved you unconditionally since the day you were born. And I always will, no, always will no matter what. I want you to live life and enjoy it, enjoy it just as you're doing. Because before you know it, you will be older like me. And believe you me, it comes quicker than you think. And I don't want you to have any regrets. I love you with all my heart. Love you lots, Jelly Tots. Love from your number one fan, ma'am. <laughs> oh, God. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just don't ever want to be someone who seems ungrateful for what I have or what this job or this life has given us. Because I promise you, I am so grateful. And... Thank you so much. Just honestly, thank you so much for allowing this to happen. Like, watching these videos. If you're sitting here watching this now, if you're watching me cry like an absolute twat, you've created, you've made this dream for me come true that I never ever thought was possible. <laughs> I'm gonna go. I really need to, like, sort my life out a bit. Ah, oh, okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'll see you very shortly for another video. Bye.